Hello from the online Armand Art Show. I'm Evan Lorberbaum. I am a mixed media artist uh, painting with acrylic, oil, and spray paint. And today I'll be giving you a tour of my studio, uh, talking about some of the projects that I've been pursuing throughout these past few months. And um, yeah, let's get to it. In general, I describe my studio process as a bit of controlled chaos. Um, here you can see it does look extremely messy, but there is a, a method to my madness. Um, here I have oil paint, acrylic paint, uh, palette knives that I'm using, different size um, spray paint caps that control uh, the flow and kind of the volume of the spray. Um, there's also acrylic inks, um, chalk, pastel, um, oil pastel. Um, yeah, and basically throughout my process, I'm um, picking up different colors and uh, through different mark making techniques. If it's um, paintbrush, palette knife, uh, squeegee, or other um, techniques that I'm using, I'm able to make different types of uh, styles on the piece. Here I have a work in progress that I'm really happy about. Um, this is a new uh, style and direction that I'm going in and people have uh, really responded to it. Um, so here, this is an overall um, kind of color field uh, gradient process that I uh, do by um, marking out uh, each section with tape and then basically with different size spray paint caps I'm able to control the flow of paint. Here behind me is a finished piece um, of the gradient uh, styling. This is uh, predominantly in grayscale. So there's uh, black, white, silver, and off-white. And these pieces are very um, complicated to make in that there's a lot of really technique and structure that goes into them to make sure that the lines are all straight as well as the different types of shapes and sizes that I'm um, creating on the canvas itself. In years past at the Armand Art Show, I had shown pieces uh, similar to this, and they are acrylic oil and spray paint on steel framed with plexiglass and brass bolts. Um, but in the past few months, I've worked um, on just going in a different direction, but still staying true to the medium. And here we have pieces uh, directly on plexiglass. So I've removed the steel um, and we've also gone larger in size. So these are 15 by 15 inches. And then over here we have 24 by 24 inches and the largest size is 36 by 36 inches. Um, and with the growth of the sizing, I'm really excited to just be working in uh, larger dimensions and bring more kind of sculptural uh, physicality to the work. Here are three of the pieces that are uh, featured in my COVID sale. Um, this is directly benefiting the Northern Westchester Hospital located in Mount Kisco, New York. Um, to date, I've uh, donated just under $3,500 to the hospital, which I'm really proud of. Um, this just shows um, my ability as an artist to try to give back to our community, as well as the community being able to uh, support me and my efforts um, to help those in need at this time. Here's an exciting new release um, that I'm really proud to present. Uh, this is a limited edition uh, 3D lenticular print um, that I dropped uh, just a couple weeks ago. Um, if you see here uh, the original, um, I worked with Tracer Imaging to essentially bring this piece uh, to life in a different way. Um, so if you see here in the lenticular print, we were able to pull out uh, certain elements of the original painting and make it uh, 3D or pop in a different element. Um, each print also comes with a two flip uh, lenticular certificate of authenticity, um, which is a nice little add on as well. I hope you and your families have all been safe and well during these challenging times. I thank you for taking the time to 
uh, visit my studio today to learn a bit more about myself, my practice, as well as some of my favorite pieces. Um, if you are interested in anything, I welcome you to take a look at my website, which is elovisualart.com, and that's spelled E-L-O, visualart.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at elovisualart. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.